Speaking of things I'm excited for, this is the boy in the Heron. The last, I believe, if I'm not wrong, this is the last Ghibli movie, which is a shame. Because, man, Ghibli's go hard. Hard, hard, hard. Like, visuals never really let down. Stories. The story's almost kind of the same. I feel like it's just kind of person dependent. Because, I mean, there's Princess Mononoke, Castle in the Sky, uh, Poro Piggy, Spirited Away, everyone should love that, you know, uh, Ponyo. Like, there's just so many different stories that are really good, but there's one thing that always stays in line, and it's the visuals that they go hard. <laughs> Stories, uh, the stories might not be for me, they might not be for you, but they, they be bumping. Is there a heron somewhere in here? Also, also I like a heron. I, I think a heron, for the choice of this movie, is gonna be a nice one. Just following a heron, those are some magical creatures. In, within, um, it's interesting, because this being in, like, Japanese culture, I believe, it should be, like, a pretty fun cultural type experience maybe because sometimes i read some woodblock print books and i've seen some stuff on herons and the way that the japanese culture appreciated them is that it made me appreciate them like they look at them as like divine creatures who can travel between three elements which i never even thought about like they can go through uh uh what is it fire earth no fire water uh wind some shit like that brother Oh, was it? I don't even know what I'm saying, man. But yeah, yeah, they're <laughs> they're crazy. It's cool. So it'd be interesting to see like a Ghibli movie with a sweet little story dipping into like the background essence of cultural beliefs. You know what I mean? It'd be interesting. <laughs> Last pause. It actually it kind of be like your name with the. With the ribbons you could do it like that be like with well, the ribbon cultural significance or you know yeah it'd be nice i'd enjoy that well oh, they're always just so uh so appealing to the eye man Oh, we didn't even talk about Howl's. A no, Spirited Away, though. That's my 10 out of 10. That's my 10 out of 10. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I thought I saw something. Never mind. Never mind. Life finds a new beginning. I like the music too. The music though is nice. The mi oh oh I like that shot close up. I'll put that on a shirt. Just like a nice little block print. Just that. Maybe zoom out a little bit, zoom and pan out a little bit, maybe. Experience an IMAX. Ooh. That'd be pretty fun. But yeah, these Ghibli movies, they always have such very nice, especially I think, personally. This is a personal opinion. I think their visuals are some of the best for animation movies. Like, they're just so much fun. Mm. And the stories are always pretty interesting we always have um even if it's not my thing i can still see how somebody would enjoy it like um i don't know i guess like princess mononoke it's not that i hate that one it's like i can understand why people are like this is the best one but for me it's never been like that i don't know princess mononoke is cool but i think spirited away all a couple other ones are better but I don't like I think they're always really good and the music is always fun especially the piano parts like the pianos they add into these music or these movies are fucking 
Man, that's my shit to use while reading. That's my favorite. Like, that's just so good. I'm hyped for this, man. This is going to be another fun little adventure. No matter if the story isn't my favorite, it'll still be fun. I, I'm, I can almost, like, guarantee that. You know what? I can guarantee that. No, I can almost guarantee. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not the man who made the movie, so I can almost guarantee it. But, uh, yeah, I think it'll be fun. It'll be a good one. Surely. 